Hey everybody out there on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. This is J.D. Olson with the Martial Art Limited Association and I am here at my gym, Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed. I am rocking my man Randy's uh, Wolf Martial Arts shirt today. I promised him I would do uh, a video with his shirt on. Uh, I actually saw he was doing a video about a week ago and I happened to be wearing his shirt the day he posted the video with the same shirt on. So I was like, oh, I gotta do a video with that on. Um, so what we have for you guys today is a knife disarm set. It's knife disarms numbers one through four. Remember when we do these, they're never gonna be all linked together. They're gonna be individual moves, but to make the drill more fun and flow, we train the one, two, three, four, back and forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so like I said, what we're gonna work on is the four, the first four knife disarms. Okay, so numbers one through four. And this is done in the martial art limited system, also done in the martial arts research systems system, also in the Inesanto Kali system. So three different uh, Filipino martial arts that I train all have the same disarm set, so it works out really well for me. So she's gonna come at me on this line right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match my same arm to her arm, I'm using the back of my hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this across. I'm gonna grab with my three fingers on her thumb pad, and set it to 12 o'clock, okay? My very first disarm is gonna be a forearm press, go ahead and catch it, and then that's number one. Let's do that again. So I go here, come over the top, figure, or get, the, get a hold of the grip, and use the side of your arm, and then press. <clears throat> one more time. So it goes right here, all right? So now for number two, for some reason, I messed this up. She's gonna turn her hand over. I switch my grip, okay? So, same three fingers are securing on the back of her hand. And I use my forearm now, kind of like I'm coming across my arm, to press. I'm not gonna eject it just so it doesn't fall down on the ground and hit her in the toe or anything. But that's the idea. If I push, 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 I can catch it if I'm fast enough. So, I'm here, I'm going for this, something goes wrong, I switch my grip, and I press right here, okay? It should never have to take all of these, what, it's just how it works. Now, I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to put it on the top of her, her uh, shoulder muscle, and I'm going to rake down her arm. When I rake, I'm going to step back with my lead leg, I'm going to pull her. Boom, she's off balance. Now I lift the jaw and expose my stabbing area. I karate chop her in the arm and I stab her with her own knife. <clears throat> the question often comes in, where do I stab her? I don't care. Okay, if you get him in the chest, you get him in the neck, you get him in the shoulder, the side, whatever. That's all whatever at this point. So if I'm here, one, two, three. Now because she's smaller, when it's her turn, She's going to figure four grip so she can use that to get her, her smaller frame to break my bigger arms. All right? And finally, we get to number four. One, two, three. I put it back to here, and now I come down my own arm, use my webbing, and then I stab her with her knife with the knife. I'll do it again. So as I go, something went wrong, something else, she just muscles up, she makes it strong, so I'm like, fine, here, here, and then finally, here, okay? Something I find really cool that Inosanto, Guru Inosanto teaches a lot is when we do that last one, here, 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 instead of using my webbing, if you really want, you can stab them with their own knife and then wipe it off their body. That's a variation of number four, where I went webbing into her body, you just stick it in. Here we are. One, two, three, four. Now I'll let Miss Ashley do it. So I'm coming at her, she reaches over the top, secures that thumb pad. One, I invert my hand. Two, I muscle up, she pulls back. Figure four is it so she can stab me and then she goes back to there. Now it's hers. And then we would go back and forth for training. One, two, three, and then four. One, 
two, three, and four. All right. So go ahead and start that. Remember, you'll never need to do all four. In all reality, what happens is she attacks on this, and I do the first disarm. If by some weird chance she comes on the secondary line, now I go back to the, the second one. If she goes to thrust me in the stomach, okay, this is where you might do number three. And then finally, if I do something wrong on this angle two, here, maybe I use the weapon. Okay? No knife defense is perfect. I totally believe and understand that. Um, my instructor, I believe Guru Inasano says the same thing. I teach it. If somebody pulls a knife, run. This is simply training, and it's also if there's nowhere to run to. If I got nowhere left to go, I might have to stay and fight or at least try to disarm them. Something else that's important, you have to keep in mind, and it sounds really goofy to say, but if I have, she has this knife, she attacks me, I happen to get the disarm. If I decide, oh, I'm going to get you back, in today's society, everybody has a camera. And if the camera came on right now, what do you think is happening? It looks completely different than what really happened, or at least before the camera was turned on. So remember that, guys. What I like to do, I mean, not that I, I train it for, when we do the, uh, the, I said that wrong. Not that I've been in a knife fight. <laughs> but if we train this, and when I do my testing, what I'll do is I eject it and I get rid of it. And now I'll do my striking and we'll fight that way. And again, if that was a real situation, it's a fight, not a knife stabbing. Excellent. Well, there you have the first four knife disarms. Again, like I said, this is done in Martial Arts Limited Association. It's also done in Martial Arts Research Systems. It's also done in the Inosanto Kali Blend. So uh, three different of my Kali instructors all have the same series. I think that's really cool. It also makes my training a little bit easier because I don't have to relearn different ones every time. Again, these are the first four knife disarms. So there are more, and there's reverse grip, saber grip, left hand, right hand, same side, all that stuff. So when you're training this, go ahead, just start, okay? Remember, if you're a smaller person, either a kid or a female, you can do that figure four grip so you can make number three work if you can't get their arm to bend and do what you want to do. All right, well, there you have it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this series or if you have different ones. Awesome. Well. If you haven't already done so, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let us know that you like the content. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that little button on your mouse and keyboard. Let us know that, uh, that you support our channel as it really helps us out. We just hit 2,000 today. Super proud and super honored by you guys that you guys like our content to, to support us like that. And then finally hit that bell icon so you know when each one of our videos comes out. Remember, we do a Technique Thursday. Usually it's about a 10 minute or long video breaking down techniques like this one right here. We also do a Tips and Tricks Thursday video. I try to keep it between three and five minutes. And then finally we have our uh, Self Defense Saturdays uh, where we have Sam the Dinosaur or we also just do Self Defense. Awesome, will you guys stay safe? Keep your hands up, keep training.